Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to this week's roundup of news from across the Trust. This week, we're looking at the introduction of body-worn cameras for our security staff and what this means for our patients and all our work colleagues. We also find out what one of our hospital general managers, Bashir Ahmed, or Bash as he's known to his friends, gets up to when he's off duty. And there's news about our new gaming carts that are great for taking young patients' minds off being stuck in hospital. But first, we have a zero tolerance to violence and aggression here at the Trust. So in line with many other Trusts, we're introducing body cams for our security team. Here's Billy and Adil from our security team to explain the thinking behind them. If you look at the DATEX reporting information from the last financial year, we have 308 um, incidents that were reported and out of them incidents there were 168 physical assaults on members of staff. There's a number of different factors which relate to these incidents and it could be clinical related, so it could be due to mental health, i.e. delirium, it could be down to drugs and alcohol abuse, or it could be down to an infection um, and the, the patient not having that right medication, they've had a 20% or up to a 20% reduction in the number of incidents of verbal abuse and violence and aggression. As a result of having the cameras, they act as a really good deterrent. Whether I'm doing car parking duties or I'm walking around in, in internal intern, uh, patrol or in external patrol, with these on, I feel a lot safer. Because when people know they're, they're being recorded, they tend to act sort of in a different manner. Overall, I, I do think it's, um, it's a really, really good idea. We're getting these in on a permanent basis. Thank you both. Now, with the spring weather here and a long Easter weekend ahead of us, many of us will be taking to the hills for a hike. It's something that our colleague and hospital general manager, Bash Ahmed, knows only too well. He's a past master at scaling rugged heights. In the first of a new series, looking at what our colleagues get up to off duty, here's Bash to tell us of his love of walking. I started off with the uh, hiking side of things uh, about five, six years ago, uh, when I was in a previous trust. Uh, one of my colleagues uh, proposed that we go for a hike for charity and, uh, and he selected uh, Base Camp Everest. So I unknowingly just sort of said yes. And since I've come back from there, I sort of got hooked on it. We've done the three Yorkshire peaks as well, you know, the Pending and Wernside and Ingleborough. Working in the hospital is challenging enough as it is, and especially for, for us staff here, where we have to walk around wearing masks all day long. It becomes quite, uh, quite a challenge for you as an individual and as a team. And uh, just to go out and get some fresh air at the weekend, just to put that all behind you and do some exercise as well. There's a lot that people can actually do. All you need is a bit of an encouragement. Thanks, Bash. That's really inspiring. And it gives us all a virtual breath of fresh air. Now, let's have a look at what else has been making the news around the rest of the Trust. Great fun. Thank you to everyone who donated. Well, that's it for another week. As usual, you can find us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and don't forget the new Trust Facebook page. I hope you have a very happy Easter, whatever you get up to. But before we go, here's a special Easter message from everyone at the Trust, and particular thanks to our oncology team for their star turn. I will see you all next week. Bye-bye for now.